Hi guys, this is your Ate Zen from Easy Excel with Zen. So in this video, we will discuss the check collection reconciliation. Take note, this is not the full bank reconciliation process. We will focus only on check collection. So we will compare the book records against the bank records. To show you more, let's proceed to my spreadsheet. These are the files that we have now. We have the book records and the bank statement extracted from another source. If you can see, the columns or the fields are limited only. So in normal scenario, you might have multiple uh, fields here. You might have the customer number, some other reference number for your analysis and some reporting purposes or some reconciliation purposes. But for the sake of showing you how I do the reconciliation, I just kept these three important fields, the date, the check number, and the amount. Same way with our bank, these are the reference or the fields that I kept. We have the date, we have the bank reference or the check number, we have the debit entries or the amounts deducted from our account, and the credits or the amounts credited in our account. So let's proceed. Normally, we do our check reconciliation using the formula VLOOKUP. So we will compare the check numbers available in our books against the check numbers available in our bank statement. But there will be a problem on that because check numbers will be, uh, there will be a scenario where check numbers are duplicated. What I mean on that, so each bank will have their series of check numbers. So they will start from one and then ascending order so there will be times that you will receive checks with the same check number but with different amount so the problem with VLOOKUP is it will capture only the first line the first row in the formula so, for example you receive check number one two three against ABC bank and the value is 500 and another check you receive from XYZ bank with check number 1, 2, 3 again, and the value is 1,000. So, yeah, the actual collection that you have is this, check number 1,000. But, your VLOOKUP will capture this, check number 1, 2, 3 with 500 value. So, you will have a problem with that. You will have discrepancy because your collection is 1,000, but the, uh, the amount credited in your bank is only 500. So, is there a solution on that? Yes, we have a solution on that. We have to make the check number and the amount unique. So how to do that? Uh, we will combine these two values using concatenate formula. These are the fields that we will be using in our formula. So I will use this header check number plus amount. The amount in XYZ bank which is this one and we will have also a column for the dishonored check. So what I said earlier is we will combine the check number and the amount using concatenate formula. Let's begin. Equal sign. Then let's type concatenate. Okay. And then open with the parentheses. Check number. Okay. And then comma. I don't want to just combine it because it will be continuous. Check number and the value. It will be all numbers. I want to separate them with a character. So, what will I do is, I will insert a character at the rate. Okay? So, start with a quotation mark at the rate. And then, since it's a character or it's, it's a text, we have to end with a quotation mark again. And then, comma, the amount. And then, close with the parenthesis. So, this is the unique reference now of the amount and the check number. Same way, in our bank, we will do the uh, concatenate formula these are the fields required in our reconciliation for the uh, bank statement we have the check number plus amount we have the credited value which is the same with the column D we have the dishonored uh, it's a combination of the check number and the debit amount the dishonored value which is same with the debit column and this is just a, an additional column here so let's do the concatenate here now so equal sign, concatenate, open with the parenthesis. So the arrangement should be the same in our book records. How we do the concatenate there should be same here so that our VLOOKUP will work later on. So concatenate the check number, comma, 
Then open quotation at the rate. Open quotation again, comma, and the value. Okay, and then close with the parenthesis. So this is the lookup value now. Then we will just um, link this column G, the amount credited to column D. Okay. So this is now the unique reference and this is the value that we have to pull in in our book records later on. So I will just copy this formula okay, to the, till the last row of the, um, of the data. Okay. Just copy till the last line. Let's go back to our book records. So our book records now, we can do our VLOOKUP okay, to capture the data available in our blank statement. So equal sign VLOOKUP. Okay. This is our lookup value now. Okay. Then comma, our data array is in XYZ bank. Okay. So this is our lookup value. We need the credited value which is in column G. So why I need to create a separate column here in G when in fact we have a credit amount in column D. The reason behind is we look a formula will work only if the value we are looking for is in the um, left side. This is the lookup value and the amount we want to pull or the value we want to pull should be on the right side of the lookup value. That's why I created a separate column here. Okay? So, comma, and then how many column it is? 1, 2. Okay, 2, comma, 0, and then close with the parenthesis. So, this is the value now for check number 241165 with the amount 205065. It's available in the back. Okay, and then we'll just copy this till the last line of the data file. So now we will able to capture what are the checks available in our bank statement. But as you can see, there are values that is wherein the result is an A. So what does it mean? This particular check number and value is not available in our bank statement. And we have to remove this NA or error because this will affect our formula later on in our summary. So how to mitigate that or how to remove the NA error we will use the if error formula so if error open parenthesis and at the end of our VLOOKUP formula we will put a comma if error what you want to put you have to put not credited so take note again quotation mark and the quotation mark at the beginning at the end of our text and then close with the parenthesis and we will copy again the formula till the last line of the data file. So if you will filter, you can see now that these are the amount not available in our bank statement. Okay, so let's go back to our bank statement. We have amounts here, okay, in our debit. So means there is a dishonored check. So this is the check number. Let's see, is it credited earlier? Yes, it is credited earlier. Is, is it the same value? 499.833? Yes. So it was credited, but later on, it was dishonored by the bank. So I have created here also a separate column for the dishonored check. So we will again pull that particular um, unique value, the bank reference or the check number and the value. What we will tell the system is, if this column C is blank, keep me blank. But if it has value, capture or concatenate the bank, uh, the bank or the check number and the amount. Okay? So we will use the if function. So if C2 is greater than 1 or greater than 0, then we have to concatenate, concatenate, okay, open parenthesis, the check number, comma, open quotes, up the read, open quotes again, comma, and the value, okay, then close the concatenate, 
So since this is an if function, what we're telling him is if this is true, if C2 is greater than 0, this is the value. Otherwise, okay, give me blank. And then close the if function. Okay, so let's see. As you can see, only the dishonor check was kept here. Okay. Next is we will just link this dishonored value. So this is the same with column C. So equal sign and then click column C. Then enter. We'll just copy the formula. Okay, so this is the unique reference and this is the value. Now let's proceed to let's go back to our book records. We will also do a VLOOKUP in the dishonored column. So equal sign VLOOKUP. Okay, open parenthesis. This is our lookup value. Comma. Let's go to our table array. Our table array is this in H now. So H2I. Okay, then comma. How many columns? 1, 2. Okay, 2. Comma, 0. And then close with the parenthesis. As you can see, this particular column has no dishonor check. To remove this NA again, we have to put the if error formula. So if error, open parenthesis, then let's go to the end of the VLOOKUP formula, put a comma, and then if error, just leave it blank. Okay? And then close the formula with a bracket, enter. Now we will just copy the formula till the last line of the data file. So this is the dishonored checks now. So we have the amounts credited in our bank statement and we have also the column for the dishonored check. Now we are ready to summarize our data and finalize our reports. So let's proceed to our worksheet summary. We will be using the formulas count and sum. So the first item is check collection for the month. We'll start the formula with equal sign. Then we will use count. Count and then open parenthesis. Let's go to our worksheet book records and then highlight the column with the value or with the amount. Okay, column C. And then close the parenthesis. So why not column B? Because check number is in column B. Column B is the check number and sometimes check number will be a combination of alphabet and number. This formula count will count only the cells with pure numbers. If one of the checks here will have alphabet, that particular check number will not be counted. Okay? So, ensure that when you are using this count formula, it counts only the cells with pure numbers. So, let's enter now. So, the number of checks collected for the month is 68. How about the values? How many were? Collect this time we will use the sum formula. So equal sign sum open with the parenthesis go to book records and again we'll highlight the column amount column C then close it with a parenthesis and then enter. So the total number of checks collected for the month is 68 and the total value for that uh, 68 checks is 8 8,601,661. Let's just validate first. So is it? So it's correct. 8601661 and the count is now the count will be 69 because it will count the header. Okay? But actually it is 68 only. Okay? And then how many checks were credited? So again we'll use count. And then open parenthesis. Let's go to the book records and highlight column F. Okay, so the number of checks credited for the month is 56. Now let's create a formula to capture the value. Equal sign, sum, let's go to the book record, uh, open parenthesis and let's go to the book records, highlight column F, close with the parenthesis and then enter. So this is the count, this is the value. Now we'll go to the dishonored checks. Again count. Then open parenthesis, let's go to the worksheet book records and this time highlight the uh, column G which is the dishonored checks. Then close with the parenthesis. 
Same way here, we'll do sum and then go to book records, highlight column G and then close with the parenthesis. So this is the count and this is the value of the dishonored checks. The count of checks credited in the bank is 56, but out of that, one was dishonored. So to get the actual checks credited by the bank, we have to deduct uh, 56 by 1. So equal sign um, E9 minus E10 is equals to 55. So 55 was the actual checks credited in our bank or number of checks credited in our bank. Same way here, we'll do the, we'll get the difference. Okay, and then this is the actual checks credited. We have to know how much is the actual checks not credited. So, equal sign the total number of checks for the month collected for the month minus the actual checks collected, and then enter. So, same way here total checks collected minus actual checks credited is equals to the amount of checks not credited in bank. So let's just validate. Is this correct? Okay, let's go to the book records. Here in column F, remember we have in the formula earlier not credited. So we'll just buy, uh, total all the not credited value. So it's 12, the count is 12, the value is 1619309. Okay, so 1619309, 1619309. Okay, and then 12. We will add the dishonored check. Okay. And we will also add the dishonored check. Now, this is the... So, we got the same information or the same result. Okay. This 13,000 and 2 million is same with our formula here on the top. Now, the report is readily available. So, whenever you add information in your book records and in your bank statement, this summary report will also be updated accordingly. So next month, okay, let's go back to the book records. Next month, when you have your new data, you just have to delete this information from column A to C, okay? And the formula here in E to G will be captured. Same way in our bank statement, okay, you just have to, if you have the new bank statement for the following month, just delete the data from column A to D and then the formula from F to J or F to I will be captured as well. So, I hope you're able to understand the process and you have developed the steps on how to do the check reconciliation. Again, let me just reiterate, this is not the full bank reconciliation process. This is just a piece of the reconciliation process. This is regarding check collection reconciliation. Next time, we will discuss reconciliation with various bank statement so that's it for now thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel keep safe everyone god bless